Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. My name is Chianti and I'm going to go ahead and bring us a love read for this week. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a Pisces, it could resonate from your perspective. Feel free to flip it. It is energy. It is a general message, so it won't resonate for every baby shark on the planet. But if it do resonate for you, my beautiful Lee, beautiful fishies, mermaids, baby sharks, piranhas, Whatever you want to consider yourself, make sure you give me the like, the comment, the subscribe, and the share. If you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information will be provided in the description box below. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into it because I went ahead and I pulled some cards to get the general energy, the general story, and I'm definitely going to clarify. The current energy Pisces is coming in. I feel like this is predictions for this week. It's Ace of Wands. A whole new beginning, a spark, a new beginning, a new chance, a new opportunity. Whatever this is, this Ace of Wands is big. Why? And you could definitely be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. What's causing this Ace of Wands is a page of pentacles, an offer. A practical offer here is causing some sort of spark or new beginning, right? Could definitely be coming from an earth sign, right? This could be something going on with some of your kids. I see something your kids could be doing, something and getting a lot of attention here or something to that effect. But there's an offer coming in that's bringing in this Ace of Wands, this new opportunity, this new energy, right? The conclusion is the star, which is Aquarius energy, but it's beautiful. This is like a dream come true. This is like having wish fulfillment. This is like healing. This is also like having hope and faith in something, right? Mm. And Pisces, the advice for this is the three of wands to keep manifesting, right? The advice is, the advice is manifest this, I feel like, Pisces, however this is going. Again, it feels like this is some beautiful energy, Pisces. I'm not going to lie, when I shuffle this, I'm like, oh shit, let me help you hurry up and do this read here. It looks like what's happening to me, Pisces, underneath the deck, I have the chariot and death. You could be dealing with the Cancerian or Scorpio, but I feel like there's an energy of get, being able to move forward, having victory and success, getting control of a situation, right? Something ending and transforming. I don't feel like it's in a bad way, though. I have you here, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, with the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something that's coming in with this offer. There's a new spark, a new beginning, right, that's coming in with this offer. This is why this Ace of Wands is coming in, because this Ace of Wands is happening because there's an offer coming in. And where this ends and where this lands is you having some sort of wish fulfillment or a dream come true here happening, Right? And it could definitely be something that you manifested or something that you've been waiting on. But I feel like the advice is to keep going with the three of wands. Something is getting ready to break open. And I feel like with death here, something is transforming. Things will never be the same after whatever this is. Pisces, you're getting ready to leave something out in the cold or leave the past in the past here, right? I do feel like this has happen, hasn't happened yet for us yet, Pisces, because I have the Hierophant. You could definitely be dealing with the Taurus. This could be something dealing with an organization or a group of people. This could even be something dealing with the marriage here, I have to say. But this is something unknown here. Some of you dealing with the Taurus or another water sign. But there's unknown communication getting ready to come in. The Eight of Wands, some forward movement. There's the intention coming in with the Two of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Yeah, something is coming in here, right? There's, some, there's, a, there's a message coming in. Something mysterious or unknown about it to me. But I feel like what's going to happen is the two of wands and the nine of cups, action, right? The tower, the high priestess, yeah. Pisces, you're going to have to use your intuition because something is going to come in here. It's a bit unknown and mysterious for me, but it's going to cause immediate, it's going to cause action, good action, wish fulfillment. It's going to be like a tower here. I don't feel like it's a bad tower. I feel, I feel like whatever this new beginning that's coming in, once this happens, once this offer is laid out, things will never be the same because there's the tower and under there's the high priestess. You'll have to use your intuition about this. You could definitely be dealing with the Gemini, a Scorpio. I definitely feel like if, if this is matters of the heart, you could definitely have a soulmate coming in here. There could be something about some long-term stability coming in or some sort of commitment for sure. This could be work, Pisces. You could be getting ready to get the offer that you've been waiting on for this new beginning, like your dream job here for sure. But whatever this is, Ace of Wands that's coming, that's, that's happening here, it's because this offer is being made with the Page of Pentacles and it feels like a great offer here. Okay, well, we're going to keep going, baby sharks. This this reading definitely got me feeling very great. I hope it's doing something for you. Again, if it resonates, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. I definitely read all of your comments. I respond to most of them. <laughs> and if you're interested in booking me, make sure that you email me, all right? Pisces, again, I just want to thank you guys for being my MVPs because you are my most watched subscribers, and I definitely appreciate that. 
all right turn on post notifications if you want to catch me when i do my live um sessions meaning you may already be subscribed but you won't get the notifications unless uh, uh when i'm live or when i upload new videos unless you hit that little bell okay all right let's see why the ace of wands is here for pisces spirit why is the current nature of the situation the ace of wands a whole new passionate beginning a new spark I, I, that, that ace of wands just has me feeling very good because it it, 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 it it could be like a new opportunity as far as career and finance and abundance but it also feels like something that's very fruitful and that you're motivated about by right why is the ace of wands the five of swords the six of pentacles i feel like the reason why the five of swords and the six of pentacles is here because this ace of wands was not easy to obtain pisces the five of swords could definitely be conflict it could be it could be heavy competition it could have been a lot of mental games a lot of mental stress and anxiety behind it right i feel like this ace of wands is the current energy that's coming in it was a hard fall ace of wands the five of swords and six of pentacles but finally something is balancing out here yep look the Ace of Wands. Look, finally something is balancing out here. The Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. And look what's under here. The Ace of Swords. The truth, the whole. There is some sort of communication coming in of a new beginning that's going to balance something out here after one hell of a conflict. And there's it is under there again. The Five of Wands. I feel like there was some sort of tug of war or one hell of a conflict to get this new beginning here. Yep, death. But things are changing. Things will never be the same. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio here. Two of Wands. Whatever this is, is happening. It's going to end and transform something. And things are never going to be the same after this Pisces why is the page of Pentacles here for why this is happening right and I, I feel like whatever this offer is coming in you know the page of Pentacles is about practicality it's an offer to start something like it like rooted and grounded here right this could definitely be dealing with children for sure but why is the page of Pentacles here for Pisces for why this is happening for Pisces why is that page of Pentacles here for my beautiful baby shark spirit clarify the energy of the page the magician. Something's being manifested here. You could be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini. Air sign doesn't have to be any of those signs. The world. This is a cycle closing out, right? Listen, this could, this could be an offer coming from somebody who's a magician here, right? This could be something that you, like, I feel like you manifested yourself here, right? Pisces, you could be this magician and you could be manifesting this for yourself, for sure. The world. But I feel like this offer is probably coming in from a magician, right? doesn't have to be a Virgo or a Gemini, but there's some sort of magical offer here. Some sort of offer to manifest some new shit, right? Because the Magician has the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. The Magician has all of those Aces here. This is an alchemist, right? This is someone who can create anything, right? <clears throat> and I feel like... This offer could be coming in. That's that, that energy, right? The, the, the possibilities could be endless with this offer that's coming in, but it was hard fought. The world tells me that there's definitely a cycle closing out or some lessons to be learned in this, right? Yep, but look, the Six of Wands here, victory, success, acknowledgement, the Three of Pentacles. You're this offer is definitely going to help you build something successful here, Pisces. And it could be coming from a Gemini, I have to tell you this, or a Sag. <laughs> But it's like, it, it, like this is something divinely guided, and I feel like it's, it was a long time coming as well. Why is the star here for the outcome? This is having like, having having a dream fulfilled, right? Like a dream come true here, right? Five of Wands. I feel like this was definitely something that was hard fought for, right? It could have been a, a tug of war to get here, right? Hmm. Death, and that's ending. Right? I feel like the tug of war is ending, right? The strife is ending. That this magical offer is coming in. This, this offer for these new possibilities, these new beginnings is coming in. There's definitely a conflict that's ending behind this, Pisces. Well, however, this is going to go for you. With death, you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. But look, there's that two of wands and the chariot. This is definitely, now things are getting ready to move forward. Yep. Two of wands and the chariot. You could be dealing with the fire sign, the Cancerian, but there's forward movement here. And it matters of the heart are at play here. Six of cups here. Matters of the heart are at play here. There's the knight of wands and the ace of wands here. There's a new beginning like rushing in after some sort of stalemate or some sort of hard fought battle. Like I said, whatever this ace of wands and this offer is and this energy is coming in, I feel like it wasn't something that just fell into you, someone's lap here, Pisces. It was hard fought for, right? The struggle was really real. Why is the three of wands here for the advice for the baby sharks? This is keep moving forward. Keep manifesting, right? Keep move, keep moving forward. Keep planning. Have this new beginning. Have this wish fulfillment. Keep investing and, 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 and waiting on your ships to come in and something that you're manifesting here. Why is the three of wands here for Pisces? 
Why is the Three of Wands here for Pisces? Clarify the energy for Three of Wands for advice. I'm sorry if y'all heard somebody talking outside. My door is rude, so. The Queen of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Energi uh, Libra Gemini energy. Sorry, guys. But this is having to be analytical about how you want to move forward, right? The Queen of Swords has a heart, but she makes head over heart decisions, right? For sure. Yep, Four of Cups. I feel like what's happening here. Yep. <laughs> the Emperor, the Star. So, look, look, it feels like to me, Pisces, there's an energy of having to be analytical about what you manifest and how you're moving forward because there's been issues of bored and boredom or discontentment in, in current circumstances, right? I feel like there's some communication coming from someone here, the Emperor and the Star. You could be dealing with an uh, Aries or a Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But I feel like this is this wish fulfillment coming in, right? I feel like someone it's, someone could be a boss or a business owner or an authority figure in, uh, among, uh, in, in amongst or despite, you know, amongst themselves. But there's some sort of wish fulfillment that's coming in. And it's coming in from someone who has the authority to offer it or someone who has the authority to make it happen. You're definitely involved in this, Pisces. Here you are, the hangman. I feel like this is the energy of like after like like having a, like being stuck until you get some sort of enlightenment, but then still having a wish fulfillment coming in. Here's the hermit. Something is definitely a lot of major arcana here, right? <clears throat> you could be dealing with the Virgo, an Aries, a Taurus, an Aquarius here, Pisces. All of these are major arcana, so this is major major energy. I feel like something has been a long time coming. It's been looked at very deeply here, right? You could have had this weight and sacrifice in order for this to come, well, in order for something to be looked into or and investigated here. But it is dealing with matters of the Ten of Cups. What's going to make you happy and your ultimate happiness here? I do have a King of Wands and a Four of Wands under here. There could definitely be an offer coming in to collaborate, to work, to work on something, to build something here. But this is what I'm seeing for the week coming in, Pisces. You make sure to let me know if it resonates for you. Make sure to give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And again, if you're interested in booking me, please email me. I love you, baby sharks. And I thank you for always rocking with me. Take care of yourselves, Pisces. Bye-bye.